What is going on guys and welcome to a very weird kind of sort of personal video Um, there's going to be no gameplay or well, it's probably gonna be gameplay in the background So you guys don't get absurdly bored Um, but there's no there's not gonna be any like topic in which we're gonna talk about that is like the game industry or anything like that It's just gonna be me talking about the fact that today I graduated and whew, um yeah, that's gonna be the general outlook of the video. Um, so this is, could kind of be considered the part one of a series that I've been, well not really part one, it's more like the anomaly part, um, where it, where it's kind of like the idea that I had behind it was a person that I watched um, actually did it and it was they kind of went through their life step by step um, just because it gave you a little bit more to the person that you're watching so it's not just a guy who's like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you know it's you actually see that person behind that and you understand what they went through and you kind of understand them a little bit more and when the, when the person that I watched did it I fucking like it what, it's what makes him stand out more than anyone else that I've watched on a daily basis um, videos I mean not just like fucking through a window or some shit um, but, but yeah also, I'm wearing this, so I call it like Phantom Smanshi, or whatever the hell you want to call it. It's, it's a pink. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure the camera's gonna get it real well. I don't even know. Um, also, my hair's fucked up because I have to wear that stupid gown, which I probably put, will put on for you guys at the end of the video. Nah. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably like tap it on my head just because I want to make sure I don't. I gotta go to like a picture thing that I gotta go do. Go do. Anyways, um, so essentially, guys, re one of the reasons why this is such a big thing for me, and honestly, in the present moment, it's not too big. That's because I don't know why I made sure I didn't stress out and I'm getting better at that to the point where I can just like my, my mental will can just be like relax stop it good and like walk about your business um, but the reason why this was such a big thing for me was for um, I told you guys back in a couple channel updates that I actually have a learning disability um, now not to say that, that I'm using that as an excuse or anything but the way school happened for me was basically um, I went to school around to grade 3 I was really behind in grade three. I didn't know how to read. I didn't know how to do barely any math. I didn't know how to spell worth a damn. My, so my parents thought um, one of the core things that you need is reading and writing. Those are just, like the three things that you're gonna need in life. Same with math skills. So basically they talked to the principal and they basically put me in a room where I would just learn those three things. So all the things like measurements, learning how to read a clock, basic, um, uh, you know, like centimeters, shit like that. Um, I did not get any of. I basically was put into a room with this woman that was probably just some fucking teacher that didn't really- She was a nice teacher, but she just didn't care. <laughs> she didn't want me to improve. She was just kind of like, yeah, just sit down. Ha ha ha, make jokes all the time. <laughs> Which was nice, but also awful. Because uh, in the three- in like the four years that I was in that room, um, I only learned how to spell probably my, my middle name, and that's it. My, not my middle name, I'm sorry, my, my last name, which is it. That's the only thing I learned how to spell. I wasn't any better at reading. Nothing like that in the reasons why it wasn't because I just wasn't trying or wasn't paying attention um, I later find out in grade 7 or so that they actually made me take a test Which is a test that they find out why you're not learning properly or what's with your brain basically and they found out that my uh, My ability to retain information was fucking awful <laughs> um, And it was that was the problem basically yeah, she kept telling me stuff teaching me teaching me the same way everyone uh, what everyone else would um, And nothing stuck and it was something where I was annoyed because I you know It's not like I didn't want to learn. I know the value of knowledge, you know, I wanted to learn but it just didn't happen for me. Um, so around grade seven, I still had a grade nothing reading. I actually didn't know how to read. I could make like make out two words, like fucking. And they always gave me the same book. <laughs> like they always gave me like Tom and John went to the park and Tom fell on his face and it was like, well, there's a tricky one. <laughs> or that's so interesting. I'll probably remember that forever. No, no, I'm not. I'm mean, who the fuck gives, gives a shit about Tom? If Tom fucking slipped and broke his face in the ground, that'd be something like, oh shit, I'm remembering that. It doesn't work that way though. Um, so, anyways, fast forward really quickly. Um, I'm in grade seven. I do not know how to read. I do not know how to um spell or the damn. I'm just kind of in the brain department. I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> I don't know anything like that. So I actually ended up leaving the school because the school didn't have uh, good enough programs for me. It didn't it like again, it was just teachers teaching me the same thing on a silver platter. It didn't like they didn't try to teach me. They were just trying to teach me how they taught everybody else, which is bad. That's not how you handle someone who has a learning disability. So basically I went to a new school um, and that school gave me kind of a, 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 a teacher that would kind of stay by me and t talk to me and like explain things. And in that one year, I basically tried to catch up so much because I realized at that time that I 
you know, it's grade, like, it's grade 8, because that's when I went to the school. It's time to kick it in gear or else you're fucked. I'm not an idiot. I know that, like, I wasn't, I wasn't, I was, I wasn't stupid, but I was stupid in the fact that I didn't know how to read and write. That, that's, if that's what you deem as knowledge, then sure. But as in, like, knowing how to speak to people, knowing how to project yourself, etc., all that was fine. It was just the part of actually, like, knowledge based on books. It was not good for me. So anyways, this teacher was amazing. She would constantly explain things to me, teach me how to learn, basically. And that's something that I never learned. Um, it's just basically teaching how my mind, first, first figuring out how my mind worked, and then figuring out how to teach it. Um, so that's what I did. And then in that year itself, I spent the entire time reading with my parents and just kept doing that and I can read I read I learned how to read from from a grade like one level to grade like seven which is pretty good <laughs> it's not it's not quite the best but it was good and at this time I think I am at a grade where I'm supposed to be like grade 10 or 12 probably 12 that's when I am just graduated anyways not the point Anyway, so I did that, and that was pretty, you know, crazy. Um, so again, I just really wanted to learn, really wanted to catch up. So anyways, for my school, it was kind of weird. Um, you could get into high school around grade 9. Usually it's like grade 10 you jump in, but now in high school you could jump into... In grade 9 you could jump into high school. Or, yeah, high school. So I did that. But the only thing, thing that was really bad about that is they put me in a class in which I had no social interaction at all. Like, I went from having friends to having support. Not support, I went to having friends, to communicating with people on a daily basis, to a class filled with people that hated everything. Like, people that, it, it was a learning disability class, but honestly, if you ever, if you're in one of those classes, you probably know that 90% of those people don't even have anything fucking wrong with their brain, and are just people that are lazy as fuck, and just do not give a shit. Like, they're like, they, nothing is wrong with the brain. Like, they could learn something and be perfectly fine, but their motto for life, and it's something that they love saying so much, is, I don't give a fuck, and I just want to punch their faces in, because it's like, if I had even a fucking fraction of your brain, bitch, I would, oh, I'm done. I hated them so much. Um, and it was, it was bad, because, again, I had the other side of the coin, where I would try and try and try to learn, but nothing would come of it. Um, and, you know, it's ever so slightly, I started to get better at it. You know, I can actually retain some information now. Um, but anyways, also in that year, my teacher kind of dropped a ball on me that I was not going to be graduating with a diploma. I was going to be graduating with a certificate. Now this kind of sucked because right around that time, we were talking about um, like colleges and stuff you'd go to for that. And most of the colleges that I wanted to go to at that time was like gaming companies. Like, like by gaming companies, I mean like learning how to do graphic design, all those kinds of things. And you, you know, learning how to build a game which has to do with code and that had to do with math. All of which I was terrible at. Um, so they kind of explained to me that that was not really a route unless you wanted to go back for heavy schooling after after you know you graduated. Um, so to be honest, and she told me that all at one point. She told me basically like, well, actually, honey, you're not actually going to be you're going to be getting a certificate, and most colleges that would offer that don't really you know, would, would not accept a certificate, um, and then I just broke down, because I, honestly, that was my dream, to become, like, to make a game, um, and to have someone basically be like, actually, no, you can't do that, like, your brain, you you know, you physically are not at that mental level yet to do that, and most colleges would not accept that, and I was like, okay, and I ended up crying class like a bitch, anyways, let's move on, <laughs> um, so that ended up happening, um, but then in that same year is when I started my YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, and I just started like it. Don't get me wrong, there were some points when I was starting it that I was getting tired, because like again, and it may, it may be hard to believe, because if you go back and watch my older videos, I talk like, just, what's going on guys, uh, this is like just the most tired person you've ever heard in your life. Um, so I went on to basically find out that I love this, like that this this random shot in the dark, because I always used to watch Let's Plays and I thought, fuck it, why not make one my own? Um, and I did and I liked it, so I made more, made it more, made more, made more, made more, and of course there was another person that sparked me to make um, a, a more heavily Let's Plays, basically like I was doing a couple on the side, and then I heard something that made me be like, I need to kick it in gear, so I started making one like every single day, I started doing daily videos which ended up like draining the shit out of me, like you wouldn't be surprised how much time it takes, like I have two hours maybe to watch my YouTube videos, by, 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 by mine, I mean the videos that I watch from my subscribers, that I'm subscribed to, um, and yeah, and then the rest of it is editing, recording, and it may seem weird, that like you know, I'm trying to make it seem difficult, which it's, it's not, it's a, it's awesome, but at the same time, it's tiring to be in, to try to be energetic for like two hours, or three hours a day, which is kind of crazy to push everything you have to the front of your body and just keep going and keep going, um, is, is a different thing, it's a different type of exotic, exhausted, it's not physical, it's more mental, it's a point where you're like, <sighs> but not like, 
oh, it's more of like a, like, yeah, I just did that. Not like I'm tired of doing it, but more like, damn, <laughs> I'm feeling that pressure. So anyways, um, I ended up getting out of that classroom, um, which was really good because, again, it was like I had no social interaction. I ended up becoming this fucking, like, shelled human being where I never talked to anybody, and I had such horrible social anxiety that actually my chest would shiver. Like, that, was, that would simulate shivering, like freezing, you know, your body shivers. I would do that just by walking down the hall, even though I knew no one probably was looking at me, but I could feel my chest tremble but shiver. It wasn't trembling, it was shivering, and there's a difference to me in that sense. Um, which was crazy that being in a class like that would do that to you, because it does. If you have no social interaction, and you jump into a world that is pretty much so social interaction, it's like, ah, it was really bad. Um, but luckily I had friends to kind of assimilate me back into the world of talking to human beings and shit. And then I had YouTube, which was like a massive help to actually talking to people, and well, talking to myself and making, maybe breaking my mind a little bit. But yeah, just basically getting into YouTube really helped too. And then I've been trying my butt off to get good at um, YouTube, essentially, for the last couple uh, years. Three years, to be specific, I think. Um, actually, maybe two is when I actually kicked it in gear, because um, I started editing the videos. So, basically, and then after that, I spent, like, the rest of the, my final days up to this point learning how to edit, making videos daily, so I never could say that I didn't try. Um, and, yeah, basically, I just kept trying and trying, and then we get to the, this point right now, which is basically... Where the one question you get asked more than anything, especially when this happens, is what do you want to do? What do you want to do after this? What do you want to do this? And I've asked this plenty of times to my friends, um, and yeah, I've, it's just a question people ask. So I got this asked to me a lot, of course, um, and my response is, I'm not really 100% sure, but I kind of am. <laughs> I kind of know exactly what I want to do, and that is... Pursue something in this line uh, of, of thing like basically I it's either like I'm gonna try um, really hard <laughs> to basically grow my channel so if you guys see some things Changing you know like um, I'm gonna be trying to make videos that get a lot of views so to speak instead of just making videos that are like Oh, this is something I wanted to make it's like this is something I wanted to make and I enjoy it But also it's because it could grow my channel significantly I'm not trying to say that that's gonna be the root of my channel, but like say for instance destiny and um, uh, The Witcher are coming out. Those are games that could bring in massive, you know, followers. And also, I would, I'm, I'm just gonna do what I planned on doing, which is basically making videos about that. But I'll have to be more aggressive about tackling things, like way to ways to execute things, you no know, guides, etc. I'm gonna have to be a lot more aggressive on that. Like those are the videos that I have to make, kind of thing. Um, and yeah, that's what I kind of want to pursue. Is so I kind of want to pursue YouTube pretty heavily and. Um, if that does start if that takes too long because I'm never gonna give up on it I always planned on doing that because again, it's something that I love more than words can describe um, But if, if things take too long, I'm gonna have to of course get a job probably work for my dad those kinds of things um, And if that doesn't work um, Then like like from two years from now if those don't catch then I'm probably gonna work into something like video editing video design um, something like that I want to try to learn those things and try to move into that into that profession but for the most part I'm gonna try to do YouTube fucking hard as fuck <laughs> I'm gonna try to jump in that shit and see if I can swim um I have a bearing I know what what is the kind of gist of it because you know I've been doing it for three years and yeah so hopefully you guys aren't sick of me that's what I'm planning on doing so as soon as school's done I'm gonna be going hard and even now I feel like I want to go hard because I, I now feel the pressure like <laughs> I was like oh shit I have my ceremony and everything I gotta kick things in gear even more so. Um, so yeah guys, that was my kind of school situation when growing up. It was basically that I had a bad call, but not even a bad call by my parents. It was a bad call from the teacher that they taught me because the teacher that taught me did not know anything about how to teach a person that didn't know how to learn. Um, so yeah, that was a whole mess up for school. And even now, like I did graduate with a, a, a certificate, not a diploma. Um, so that's its own thing. So if I want to go to a college, I'll probably have to go back for upgrading, which is kind of shitty. Um, especially on the fact that I want to stress highly that I wanted to learn. Like, I, w and it's not even that, it's just that I tried my ass off. Like, again, it, I mentioned this in a video way, way back, um, like, back when Destiny first came out, which is actually not too far back. <laughs> but, um, I mentioned in a video back then, which, basically, I kind of got a little emotional in that video. And I kind of was talking about how, you know, it sucks that I, you know, people, people don't realize that, you know, if you can learn and if you can obtain information relatively easy, that is a goddamn blessing. And to see some people where I would constantly see it, because again, I was in those classes where none of them were actually, I mean, nothing was wrong with them, but they were just fucking lazy. Um, 
So to be in those classes where people didn't actually go for anything, and for me, that's just trying to fucking fight to move just a little inch from people that could make a stride is if they tried. It, it was it drove you nuts. Um, but I, all I can do is make sure I do the best, which is uh, which is things people constantly say. Um, but still, it's like ah oh, man, that sucks. Like just to look at people and see them just have all the potential to be good, but decide to waste it. It's like, dude, I want that. If I had that, I would be fucking gone. But no, that's not how the world works sometimes. And yeah. Um, so basically, to break it down, I had a really shitty school uh, upbringing kind of thing, just because of the fact that I you know I didn't figure out that I had something that wasn't perfect in my head. <laughs> Um, and then try to get so much ground in such a short, short period of time and then to think that uh, people constantly ask me what I want to do and the real answer is that I really have never really told anyone is do YouTube full time and hopefully something happens and hopefully some good things happen as well um, and yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching guys this has been a live peak moment hopefully I can look back on this and be like oh shit look at me in a fucking pink thing. God damn me. Um, you guys don't want to see the gown, do you? It looks kind of stupid, but I'll, I'll sure. Jesus Christ. Uh, I got it. <laughs> that's it. With that fucking up my air because I'm a bitch like that, but look. That's it. I can't tell you pff, how much this happened. <laughs> Just, it constantly gets in your face and you're like... But coming down to stress, the only thing I was stressed out about when I got up there to like the podium or whatever was like this. When you have to like do this, boom, I'm now a new pe person. I don't know why that's a thing. Uh, but I was worried I was going to be like, like I was worried I was going to be like, fucking, where is it? There it is. Got it. There, nope. Gah, nope. Got it. <laughs> that was my biggest fear was doing that shit. And I didn't even throw mine because I kept it. I just threw it behind my, my green screen. Which I really hope this color works the green screen. If not, then shit. Um, but yeah, guys. Anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. Kind of like a real-life shit happening uh, kind of video. And also telling you guys that I'm going to be trying to do YouTube all the fucking time. For, um, but I've already, that's kind of weird to say because I'm already doing that. Um, but I'm going to try to be more aggressive about it now. I'm not going to be fucking around. I'm not going to be like, oh, let's make Let's Plays only. It's going to be like, oh, let's make lore videos because those get quite a bit of views. Let's make a different type of video that will draw people in. I'm going to be doing my best to do those things. Um, yeah, guys, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. And hopefully the future holds some bigger and brighter things. And hot damn, I'm done. But not really. Actually, this is the start of something. The whole new force, hopefully. <laughs> Anyways, guys, nevertheless, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, as always. And later, guys.